Guys, first of all, do you see uh, this? Yes. Do you see this? Do you recognize this? Yes. For your information, we are in Poland. <laughs> No, nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. There is a movie which is shot here about World War Two. Yes, and uh, we can see, we can be witnesses of scenes. Uh, but at the beginning, when we saw it, we had a lot of questions. Exactly, and I was just, we were just walking, and we saw people standing there, and then the first thing which we saw was the flag, and we were like, what? Uh, let's stop here. <laughs> what happened? Like, Does this history happen again? Exactly. <laughs> Repeats. But with the, the swag they have while doing this, it's it's amazing. Yeah, we will show you also how they record it. Probably this movie will be... I, I don't, don't know, know when it will be released. Yeah, we we have no idea about it. But it's... We don't know even the name of the movie. Exactly. It seems cool. <laughs> Good experience. Hello, Hello guys, guys and welcome, welcome back, back to Dreaming, Dreaming Falcon. Falcon. And we are back again with another adventure. In Poland. And this time we are in... Gdansk. Gdansk. Gdansk is the port city located on the north of Poland. It is on the coast of Baltic Sea. It is known for its biggest ship repair yards and it's one of the biggest ports in the whole Europe. Gdansk is also well known from its history because here the Solidarity Movement started which brought the end of communism throughout the whole Europe. And moreover, Gdansk right now is a blend of culture, history and also modern life. So let's explore the city more and see what's going on here. So guys, right now we are walking along Moldova River. This river made Gdansk the richest city during Middle Ages because of the trade. Uh, right now the street is fulfilled with restaurants, pubs and uh, cafes. And it's the perfect place for Friday night. which is moving and it connects and disconnects the whole two different islands here in the center and people can walk through the street go to the other side at the same time it will be shut for some moments as well so that boats can pass and it's amazing one of the best things you could see in Gdansk Right now we decided to have some dinner and we went to Pierogarnia uh, Staromun in Gdansk and uh, this place is known because uh, it serves some traditional Polish food which is pierogi. It is said if you were in Poland and you didn't eat pierogi then have you ever been in Poland at all? So we are going to try this dish and I've tried it to be honest a lot of times but am I able to try it here and it won't be cooked by me. So tell me your expectations. Since, since there are a lot of people waiting here, I expect it to be very good. I can smell it here. It's, it smells really good on this street because of the shop. But let's see. Let's hope for the best. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So guys, to begin our food, first we have some bread with a uh, dip on the side which we have to put on the bread and it, it's like a, it's, a, it's a dip which is made up of lentils, quite interesting, so let's try it. So Justina, what have we ordered? So we've ordered two traditional Polish soups. Uh, first one is barszcz, which is red soup, and the second one is uh, żur with the sausage. It's also another Polish traditional soup. And also we've ordered pierogi because this place is well known because of this dish. And we've ordered uh, pierogi okurcze and rycerskie. If it tells you something, it's just the name of uh, pierogi. And one is with chicken and one is with pork. So we will try this, we will tell you our opinion. And I'm very excited. 
Yeah, but we have added an add-on as well, right? It's fried. Yes, you can also order it just boiled, but we decided to uh, make it more delicious and try uh, as well to fry it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... You will have to pay for it though. Because <laughs> right now we are crossing the bridge, which is the moving bridge here. We were talking about already. Yeah, and right now we are crossing it to go on the other side of the river. Eat and it's quite it's now we are going to a place which is quite uh, how how should I explain it? It's like quite, quite touristic touristic it's because quite, of pubs because of bars yeah, because of the amount of um, touristic spots exactly either. it's quite hipster you will see it looks hipster, beautiful yeah. especially from the bridge so let's have a look yeah and it's very cool <laughs> Guys, right now we are going to a giant wheel in Gdansk. It's already evening, almost nine, and we decided to come here and see the city uh, from some height. <laughs> we don't know exactly which height, but we will show you how the city looks like from from the bird side. But yeah, bird side view yeah. from the top. It's quite beautiful because this giant wheel is located on an island, and it's completely disconnected for a lot of time and then because the boats have to pass and they have to go from one location to another and as you know already in Gdansk uh, bridges move <laughs> yeah bridges so. move so bridges get disconnected you saw a bridge which moves horizontally uh, before and right now there was a bridge which gets up vertically and gets down so that's second experience yeah exactly <laughs> it's bridges. quite interesting and how they make the whole city work and connect all these islands so right now we are in front of this huge giant wheel wow and we are ready to go in let's go, let's go. So guys, right now we are done with this giant wheel. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, I would say it's beautiful. You will see different sections of the city yeah. and you can compare it to a lot of different cities in whole Europe. Like this city resembles quite like some parts of the cities are like Copenhagen, some of them are like Amsterdam, some of them are like Hamburg. Or Polish cities, other Polish cities. Yeah, or like other Polish cities, it's quite amazing. However, Right now we are running back home. It's getting too much, too cold, too cold at the moment. And I think come here during summer. <laughs> yeah, better to come here during summer. However, it will be much more expensive than how it, how much it is <laughs> during right now, other yeah. seasons. However, like that's that's all from today at least. We have another day tomorrow, big day. Lots of places to visit. Lot of lots of things to do. From morning In, till night. <laughs> exactly, in Gadans. <laughs> And we have her birthday as well. Wow. So we'll be having fun. Yes. So that's it from right now. And see you guys I think tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. So good night. Good night. So, so good hello, morning guys. guys. Uh, it's our second day in Gdansk and uh, we are right now on our way to our breakfast place. It's a new day, uh, sunny, very good weather. We are excited to visit the different left. places which you plan to visit today. So let's go to our first uh, spot, breakfast spot. Exactly. So the breakfast spot where we are planning to go, uh, it's called Family Cafe Kos. It's like a small milk cafe. We will find a lot of this milk cafe milk bars all around Poland. Uh, in Gdansk, they are quite popular because it's the cheapest and the best places where locals go to have their food. Yes, so I think that it's an amazing uh, place to experience traditional Polish cuisine mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we will show you what uh, we will have there. <laughs> Let's go. Breakfast 
place and uh, you were we were walking and we didn't even notice where this place is because it's written in very small small letters and uh, yeah let's uh, go in and see what they will offer us to eat <laughs> So Amaya, do you remember what we took here? Tell us. Yes, it's, it's amazing. First of all, I would like to mention the price. Show them the food. Show them the amount of food. <laughs> so for this all, we paid how much? Just 15 euros. Can you imagine? 15 for euros. Those, we paid yeah. one five, 15 euros. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Second of all, let's now see what we have here. We have mushroom with uh, uh, pork. It's one of the local dishes here, quite interesting. Then we have this red sausage. I tried it last mm. time in Rostov. It was delicious. I hope it will be delicious here as well. Polish sausages, yeah. I love them. As that was coming out of my mouth, I knew that it was wrong. <laughs> then we have... The main reason sausage. why you come here. <laughs> exactly, white sausage. With that we have this egg toast. Yes, it's cheese toast, it's not yeah. the egg so toast with toast. tomato. Yeah. yeah, then this is kapot. Kompot. Kompot. Almost very close. <laughs> Kompot. Nalishniki, it's Polish... Uh, pancake, pancake, which is or, with cheese, it's yeah, with pork crepes. cheese. It's like yeah. Polish crepes. This is with, uh, this is for vegetable pancake, also traditional Polish dish. And this is omelette. Look at that, it looks like a cake, but it's an omelette. Yes, because they, I think, uh, how to say, yeah, whisp they whisp it a lot and then it becomes so... So I cannot wait, I just want right. to eat it. Yeah. Let's eat, let's, let's eat, eat it. Let's eat. I'm very excited. <laughs> so guys, right now we just had our breakfast and we are right now going towards the outskirts of the, uh, of the city center. And we will see their uh, all attractions one by one. After this, you will come back here again to the center of the city. And everything is pretty close by, so you can just walk around. Yes, yeah, so let's go and explore with us. <laughs> so guys, while going towards the outskirts of the city, we have now witnessed a small square, which is... Uh, which has a lot of small shops. Yes, I would say that it's a market. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a local market and uh, it's a good tradition how in Germany it's on Wednesday and Saturday. It's in here I think every day and uh, you can have some local products from here. Of course, it will be a little bit more expensive but also healthier and I think that it was also like this um, not only in modern times but also previously and this tradition was kept because also inside there is a trade um, market, market trade and market here inside. right now there are clothes inside and mm -hmm. outside you can see food but I think that previously inside was everything like it was the whole big trade, my trade market uh, with food and clothes and you could just go there and buy everything <laughs> yeah so let's go and enjoy and see how this market looks like. Let's go.
concerts because of its instrument inside the church. We will also see the anvil altar there. So let's go and explore. So guys, right now we are inside this Bridges Church, and it's quite quite a normal church if you see. But then you see the altar, amber altar. It's quite impressive because it stands 35 feet above the ground. It's very really beautiful. And right now we go closer and have a closer look. Let's go. Let's go. Oi. I don't know why they have so many skulls in a church. <laughs> I think I have to read about it, but it's quite scary. So right now, guys, we are just below the church, inside the church. On the underground floor. And we just saw a home full, full filled with human skulls. And the history behind this is that in 2016, they I uh, went and checked at the underground chamber and there they found all these skulls, human skulls. So something really went bad here. <laughs> and right now, there is a big door behind but I'm very scared. <laughs> yes. I think we should go up. I feel like it will be here. closed now yeah, and then we will be stuck with those. Quite scary. Yeah, especially. To <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's go. So guys, uh, you can see we were so sweet pistachio. Uh, like sweetness, I don't know how to say it in it's, English. It, I think it's chimney cake. Chimney cake, okay. Yeah. And um, it's known in Prague, Hungary, but also in Poland. And uh, I think it's a good um, a good thing to eat after uh, watching a lot of skeletons. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we need something like this, I think, after. We need to eat something sweet to lift uh, our spirits lift up. our estrogen <laughs> in our blood. So guys, right now we are in front of the Bread Bridge, also known as the Bridge of Love. So why does this bridge has the name Bread Bridge? Because during the Middle Ages, uh, the, lots of breakers around this vicinity used to sell their bakery products right on this bridge. And in 2011, uh, on there are a lot of padlocks right now you can see, but in 2011 the first padlock appeared on that bridge, somebody put it, and right now lots of lovers and lots of people come and put their padlocks with lots of signs, dates and confessions around this bridge and they are increasing day by day and the bridge is bending because of the weight of that pad that padlock and since then this bridge is also called as the bridge or the love bridge. So guys, behind me you can see Golden Gate, which translates to po in Polish like Brama Długo Uliczna, which means Long Street Gate, as it leads to the uh, center of the city. Uh, in the past it was uh, very important because it was the defense uh, system here, so this gate was protecting the center of the city from outsiders. However, it was demolished and uh, right now it's reconstructed and it serves as a symbol, historical symbol. It's still very beautiful and uh, we will go through this and you will see the city, city center again. Very picturesque. So let's go. Let's go. walking through the Royal Street you can uh, hear the bell ringing from the main town uh, clock tower and right now you can hear it as well. It starts at the beginning of every hour. So right now it's 12 and you can hear it. So behind me where we are actually going there is a main town hall uh, with the Neptune fountain and uh, Neptune was actually and is a god of sea. So guys, right now behind me you can see the Neptune fountain 
Neptune is, as Justina said, the god of seas and right now this fountain symbolizes the city because this city is located on the coast of Baltic Sea. Well, there is also a small legend connected with this fountain. Uh, this fountain is uh, Neptune's fountain and people used to throw gold coins during old ages in the fountain to make their wish come true. The god of sea was frustrated by it and he decided to crush all those coins and crush those uh, wishes as well which gave rise to a famous drink in this city Goldschlager which is a vodka we all know and this vodka is known for the small gold flakes in it and I don't know probably you can try it here <laughs> Another interesting spot which you can see near the town hall is the Green Gate. Uh, right now it is a national museum in Gdansk. Uh, also it is uh, well known because uh, there is a former uh, president La Holanza's uh, office, uh, Gdansk office, here in one of those rooms which you can also see. And uh, it was very very important historical spot. So I think that uh, if you are interested in the history of Gdansk and Poland you can just visit this museum. It's not only a gate. Yeah, by the way, it looks quite like Amsterdam. Yes, because it was built by an architect uh, from Amsterdam. Quite interesting. Yeah. However, we are not going to go close there because construction going on. I mean, construction is much more interesting than <laughs> other things here in the city. Yeah, where is not going on construction? When you want to see something, there's always a construction. Macaron. So I wanted macaron for so long and you got macaron in that. Uh, don't judge me. I know it's not a Polish traditional dish, but I wanted macaron and I took pistachio, mango and coconut. So we will I'm try. Happy. That's the best. You think I'm happy because of Polish traditional food? No, I'm happy because of macaron. <laughs> St. Mary's Church. It is well known because it's the largest brick church in the world and uh, it's quite exciting. <laughs> so let's go in. Whoa. Yeah, and 10 zloty for reduced price. 10 zloty for reduced price. And we are right now trying to go on the top. Uh, it is said that it's one of the highest points uh, in the old town. And you will get to see the whole uh, 360 degree view. So let's go and see. But right now we have to climb a lot. Also, we've got a little bit of uh, screaming <laughs> from the woman who was on the counter because she was basically getting the first student IDs. Before, when we were studying in the long queue, reality of traveling, ha ha ha, because we are students, we have to be screamed at, <laughs> even if, the, if we are paying for the service. No, it will only happen to you either in Germany or in Poland. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So 
So guys, right now I'm standing on Marianska street. This street is well known because of its amber uh, trade in the past and also right now you can buy some amber jewelry here. Uh, I see beautiful buildings around the street because it looks quite quite uh, old and not destroyed because of wars. <laughs> By the way, what is the name of the street? Maria Atska. And what is the other name of the street? Amber Street. <laughs> So guys, right now we are just outside the city of Kadans. We are at Wester Palette. It is a open air museum right now. It is a museum about about Second World War because this was the place where a uh, Polish army, whole German army, which was at least ten times larger than larger than them, than them for almost 10 days and this war was one of the first wars which was fought uh, during World War II. So let's go and check out the open air museum right now. So guys you see here some ruins of a building. Uh, you can find a lot of such buildings and a lot of such places uh, throughout the whole Western Palette district uh, since there are a lot of ruins still left after the war and they have kept it so that people can go inside the building even check it around how it looks feel the atmosphere, feel the atmosphere. you can see war. it's it's destroyed because of war because you will see this black spots and like burned from guns, yeah. from guns bullet bombs, shots yeah. bu guns you can see bullet shots as well but because of bombs on fire the whole building was destroyed and lots of such ruins are there throughout the whole uh i would say district quite interesting and also it's written there with n3 at your own risk yeah learning. yeah so it's also written to health and life. yeah so it's quite dangerous it can be dangerous so it is written that it's a serious hazard it can fall anytime so enter at your own risk so what are we going to do we are going to enter <laughs> on our own risk exactly let's go and behind me there is a memorial which signifies that a lot of people polish people died here for freedom and for their country. It's not a Simpson. <laughs> it's a memorial. Sorry. So guys, that was all from Gdansk. We are on our way already to another city. Exactly. So if you like our video, please do like, share and subscribe to Dreaming, Dreaming Falcon. Falcon. Dream big, fly high. Dreaming, Dreaming Falcon. Falcon. See, See you in Warsaw. Warsaw. <laughs>